So I finally made it to the KFC to get lunch. And apparently there is no KFC in my city where the dining room is open. So I'm just gonna have to eat in the car. It's okay, I'm about to get the car washed right after this. And you really are in a racetrack going through their drive-through, that's crazy. It's so narrow, like it's super duper narrow. That's wild, all right. Okay, let's take order when you're ready. All right. Dang, he got fries? What? What did he start selling fries? All right. Um, let me get a classic chicken sandwich combo. Okay. Great. Um, what does that orange mountain do? That yellow one? That's a peach flavor. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. Let me get that. Uh, and also, let me get a uh, oh, just an extra spicy chicken sandwich. Just a sandwich? Yeah, just a sandwich. All right, okay. there you go. Uh, nope, th that's it. That's All right. That is one expensive chicken sandwich. So I decided to get both of them, right? Because I know people in the comments are going to probably be like, you should try both of them. Try the spicy and try the regular. So I'm gonna try the regular, try the spicy. I'm not that hungry, so I'm probably not gonna eat mo more of the whole thing. I'll just taste them pretty much and give my opinion on both of them. Um, historically though, I'm not like a spicy food person per se, unless I'm like applying hot sauce on like some greens or maybe some chicken or something like that. But when it comes to like going out somewhere getting their spicy food, it just don't taste right. It like sometimes it just be too spicy. Like they want to make sure that you're, you're getting what you what you paid for. You know, you're 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 gonna be like a, have a spicy mouth. So, um, and plus I got a soft drink. I got a peach flavored Mountain Dew. I've never. And you know, he didn't even ask me what size I wanted. You know. All right, so we got this peach flavored Mountain Dew. All right. Yeah, it's definitely. Got that yellow taste. Mm. This is fire. This is, I'm not just saying that because it's a new taste. This is the best soda I've ever tasted. It actually tastes like peaches. It almost tastes like carbonated peach juice. I don't taste Mountain Dew at all. Dang, it tastes just like, you ever like a, like a nice, and, and hard peach, not soft, just nice and crunchy peach. That's what this tastes like, but a soda. Put this window up. All right, so I can actually loop it around. I don't see no cars coming. This sandwich is advertised at $3.99. What the hell? Didn't mean to put that window up. Okay, so there's a nice shady spot right here. I'm parking this nice shady, is that a dead bird? All right, so I'm parking this nice shady spot and uh, put the car in park, head ass. All right, so uh, I've got my food tray right here. It's just a backpack, but I like eating on this backpack. All right, ooh. Damn, that's the ultimate. All right, well, their fries are crispy. Their fries are definitely crispy. All right. So here is one of their chicken sandwiches. Mm, I really wish I had an actual tray. Okay, so I'm not sure which one this one is. This says fried chicken sandwich. And this one, they both say fried, so I'm not sure which one. Oh, this one is the spicy one. This one is the spicy one. All right, so let me just open this up like this. Okay, that actually looks like here, here, I'll take, let's take a look at it. Oh crap, I don't wanna drop it. But this is a nice presentation. This is a nice presentation with this chicken sandwich. It's got pickles, it's got some mayonnaise, and a big, thick, like, chicken. Not a chicken patty. Looks like a, like a whole ass chicken breast, all right? So that is the regular. And then here is the spicy. 
I like they don't give you like the regular McDonald's like wrapped up head ass. It's just friggin. Oh, let me turn it around. It's just in a little pouch all of its own. All right, so I guess I can put this in here. All right, so, ooh, you can tell that it's got some spicy sauce. That's what makes it spicy. Okay, so this is the spicy chicken sandwich. I don't know about that top bun. Presentation's not that good, but uh, I mean, it looks nice. Let's see, what do, they, what do they got in it? Okay, so it looks like they got the special sauce like on the inside of it. Um, I guess that's a spicy sauce. And they got mayonnaise. Yeah, mayonnaise is like where the spicy sauce is on the chicken sandwich, they got mayonnaise there. All right, and then, ooh, they got pickles at the bottom of that bit. And then the spicy chicken sandwich, I guess they got pickles at the bottom of this bit too. Ooh, please don't drop, I need my plate. All right, let me move my legs down. All right, so yeah, they got the pickles there. All right, so uh, first I'm gonna try the, uh, the regular chicken sandwich and see how this tastes. <laughs> the first time eating the KFC chicken sandwich. I saw this advertised on Genshin Impact. Like whenever these came out, they were advertising them on Genshin Impact and you can make these on Genshin Impact. So I was like, man, I wanna try one. So let's see how this tastes. It's a big chicken patty too. I want some pickle in the first bite. It's good. It's good. Like I'm trying to remember other chicken sandwiches that I've had before, like like a, a, a McDonald's chicken sandwich or a Wendy's. This is definitely better than the Wendy's chicken sandwich for sure. It's definitely better than the Wendy's chicken sandwich. The pickle at the bottom, the pickle sets it off. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yeah. The pickle does it. Because other chicken sandwiches, I believe they have like, like I know the Wendy's chicken sandwich, they've got like mayonnaise, lettuce, and tomato. I don't know if they got pickle though. I usually take the, 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 oh hey girl. I usually take, there's a girl up there. I usually take, not a girl, like a woman, okay? Um, I usually take the, uh, the tomatoes off. All right, let me get a palate cleanser, unknown. All right, now let's try this uh, spicy chicken sandwich. And I see the pickle. Okay, I found the side that has pickle on it. You can see the pickle right there. I found the side that has pickle. I'm gonna go ahead and bite into it. I hope it's not super spicy. All right, here we go. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This is hot. Like it's not like mild or hot. This is hot. Like it's literally burning my mouth right now. This is the hottest sandwich that I've had. And I, I, I don't know. I feel like some people are gonna be like, I've had that sandwich, it's not that spicy. Maybe they did something, I don't know. Maybe my, my taste buds are just weak after the years of not eating stuff like this. But this is hot. It tastes good though. Mmm. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Which one tastes better? It's toss up because I like how the spicy one tastes, but it's spicy. And I don't like that too much. I think it tastes better than the regular one, but the regular one is not spicy, so I can eat more of it. I feel like if I was more accustomed to eating spicy foods without being bothered, I would like the spicy one better because it definitely has a better taste. Not to say that this doesn't have a good taste either. This is definitely, like this chicken sandwich definitely has Wendy's chicken sandwich beat. Um, 
I'm gonna say though, I remember like all my memories of the McDonald's spicy chicken sandwich because I haven't had McDonald's in like forever. Last time I had McDonald's, I got the Travis Scott burger and I made a vlog video of that. If you haven't checked it out, check it out. Me and Espo, we got Travis Scott burgers. They were pretty tasty actually. But I kind of swore off McDonald's forever because I thought they were poison. But I guess not, I don't know. But I remember the spicy chicken sandwich at McDonald's just being fire. I gotta try it again. So probably next, I'll either go to the Burger King and get their chicken sandwich or I'll go to McDonald's. So down in the comments of this video, just let me know, um, McDonald's or Burger King, where to go next for the cheeky chicken sandwich taste test, I guess. Oh. Mm. No, that's definitely fire. I enjoy it. I didn't show you their fries, bro. That's crazy. Like, I had no idea. Like, as I was driving up, I was like, man, you know what would be dope? If they had fries. And I was like, it's tough that they've never, like, I've never known KFC to have fries, but I guess they don't stepped up their game. They got, oh, I don't love fries. Now, these fries, I got to tell you, they are better than Wendy's for sure. I know, I'm just ragging on Wendy's, and I love Wendy's, but I go to Wendy's in a heartbeat. Wendy's and Taco Bell are the same to me, and I love Taco Bell. Not everything are Taco Bell. But these fries, they remind me of... Mm -hmm. Okay, so down here we have checkers, and I guess where you're at, you might have a place called Rallies. Imagine the checkers are Rallies fries without the seasoning. If you can imagine it, then you would have this fry. It's good. Is it better than the McDonald's fry? Damn, I don't, I'm, I'm fucked up about fries. I really am, I love fries. I, I can't say if it's better than McDonald's fry. Though it's definitely not better than Checkers fries because Checkers has the fry game on lock. I'm gonna take another bite of the spicy one. Mm, there's a nice pickle hanging out right there. Oh man. So uh, yeah, so today I'm doing a day in the life video. Um, I'm probably gonna put portions of this video in the day in the life video. And I went around and did some things probably a little bit later after this, I'm gonna get the car washed because later I'm going to uh, spicy one though <laughs> this spicy one though bro oh my gosh this spicy one is good uh, well yeah, I'm gonna get the car wash and after, yeah, after I leave here I'm gonna get the car wash and then after I leave the car wash I'm gonna go to the mall and um, get a PSN card mm. because there's a new game that comes out um, not tomorrow, but the next day. Mm, that's too spicy though, man. Like it's got a really good taste, but it's just super duper spicy. Mm. Oh gosh. You know what happens when you drink soda with spicy food? It's just never a good combination. But there's a new game that comes out. It's called um, Near Replicant. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. N-I-E-R. It's the uh, prequel to Nier Automata. And I never played Nier Automata because, uh, well, I got the demo up. I played the demo and I thought the demo was dope. There were just some portions of the game that I didn't like. There were times in the game of Nier Automata where you were third person still, but the screen would go way out and you'd be doing a, a you know, side scroller game. You know, there are times when the screen would just become fixed and then you're playing like Contra, you know? And, um, I don't know, I just didn't like that portion of the game. When the game was like fully third person and you're in an open world, like the game looked amazing, it played amazing, but because of that extra stuff, I just didn't like it. I'm gonna take a bite of the, uh, the God damn, bro, look at that sandwich. That is some premium chicken right there. That is some good chicken. That is some, some Gordon's Tyson's chicken. Mm. Oh my god. Mm. So good. So, oh my gosh. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. 
I might have to change my vote, man. Cause I'm getting to the middle of this chicken. Ooh, we. Uh, that is wow. That is that is a good. Where are the? Do I have any napkins? Yet? Cause I know I probably got food all over my mouth. You're probably looking at it like, wipe your mouth. Cause you got food all over it, head ass. Mm, mm. That is damn good chicken sandwich. All right, bro. Oh. So, if you ever had this chicken sandwich, let me know what you think about it down in the comments. Like, on a scale of one to 10, like if you're watching this on a live video premiere, yeah, on a live video premiere, if you're watching this live, like on a scale of one to 10, tell me about how you rate the chicken sandwich if you've ever had it. This thing is good. I can probably finish this. I probably can't finish the spicy one. Well, even if I didn't like have an issue against the spicy food, I probably still, cause I, I can't eat that much. This is gonna expand my stomach for sure. Mm. Cause I can't remember. I can't remember the last time I ate so much that I got full. I don't like to do that. Cause I feel like if you eat so much that you get full every single time, you're just gonna put on uh, extra weight. And um, sad to say, man, my metabolism is starting to slow down, I guess. I mean, I'm not really putting on weight like that, but I am starting to put on weight. Not really, I can't even say that. It's just my gut might stick out a little bit more, I guess. I don't know. Cause when I was on the scale that the last time I left the house, I've literally weighed one was it 145 or 155 or something like that i've weighed that same weight my literally my entire life i think when i turned like 18 or 19 or something i just stopped gaining weight doesn't matter what i do eat eat more i think i i, I weighed a little bit more one time i got my weight up to like 160 when i was working out like real tough every day volkswagen gti is pulling into the kfc now, low key, if you've never seen, oh, it's gonna pass. No, it's not gonna pass by, it's going through the drive-thru. If I didn't have a Sentra, I would, I would low key get one of those. Those things are dope. Or I would find an old uh, Honda Civic. I was just watching the Fast and the Furious the other day. And I was gonna go out then, it was yesterday, and it was raining. And when I left the house today, low key, it was gray outside, but now it's like blue. I'm starting to get full. Like, I'm actually starting to get full. I don't know if that's a good thing. I don't know if that's a good thing because later I'm going to um, then go to the park later. I got my skate shoes on and I'm going to. Uh, I've already talked about this in the vlog a little bit, but. I'm just gonna roll around the park a little bit, maybe record some stuff for the uh, Instagram. And uh, if you don't know my Instagram, it's VSG and social. Uh, I might record some stuff for the Instagram. I don't think I'm gonna do anything crazy because I haven't skated in a very, very long time and my muscles are just gone. Like low key, my legs are atrophy. <laughs> but the muscles in my legs are all atrophy because <laughs> I don't use them anymore. My day really consists of uh, waking up, going to the restroom, going back to bed, <laughs> watching hours of Hulu or Netflix, and then uh, after after I feel like a slob, like just, just doing nothing all day, I get up and uh, go play some video games and record some stuff, and then uh, go back to go back to laying in bed. That, that's literally my day, every single day. And that's, that's, that's sad. So my day used to be more active, man. When I was younger, and I was a bum, not like well actually i don't know maybe like an, an actual bum i would legitimately i would legitimately wake up scrounge around some money like change or whatever that i had and i would take a bus and go to the skate park and i'll skate all day lunch will be taken care of because usually there'd be somebody there that would hook me up 
tighten me up a little bit. Or if I had a little bit extra money, I would you know buy myself a sandwich at McDonald's or something. But more than likely, there was a bunch of kids out there. They all enjoyed my company or whatever. And they would all like, hey, what do you want from McDonald's? What do you want from McDonald's? You know. And sometimes whenever I did have money, I would like pay them back. Like there's this one time this kid, little 12 year old kid named Kyle. Most annoying little kid ever, right? And I just remember, I have this fondest memory of him. He's, he's older now. I think he joined like the, the Marines or something now, but he was this little tiny, tiny, tiny little 12 year old kid. He almost looked like an eight year old. That's how small this kid was, right? And he was annoying. He got on everybody's nerves or whatever. And uh, for whatever reason, he, he enjoyed me. Him and a couple other kids, they really enjoyed my company. And, um, you know, if he had money, he would hook me up. If I had money, I would hook him up sometimes. But there's just this one day that I went to the park. It was like a Sunday. I got there early because I wanted to skate. Like, I didn't want to, like, socialize. Because when you're at the skate park and you're there a little bit later, when everybody's there, the sun's kind of going down, it's less of a skate session and more of a social session with some skating involved. But if you did, you definitely wanted to go and, like, skate and, like, get some training in, you, you definitely went a little bit early where no one's there or you had to skate like no one was looking, you know what I mean? Because too often when you skateboard, it's like you're trying to put on a show and impress people, which that's literally okay. That's what we all wanted to do. So I, I pulled up to the park and I'm skating and this kid shows up. It's like 12 o'clock in the afternoon, like one o'clock, something like that. And he comes up and he's all sad and he just comes in the park, you skateboard with him and he just sits down and he's got this old like sour look on his face. And you know, it's, it, it was like begging to, hey, ask me what's wrong with me, you know? So I'm like, I go over there and I sit down and I said, what's up homie, you all right? And he's like, I'm so hungry. And I said, well, why didn't you eat before you left? He's like, cause we don't have any food in our house. Can you please take me to McDonald's? You know, and I'm just like, and he just gives me this look. Cause I only had enough for me. Like, I think I might've had like nine bucks and that was gonna be my lunch. That was gonna be drinks later. That was for me for the entire day low-key bus fare to get home right so i was like all right man let's go because he gave me that look head ass so you get there and um you know the lady asked me she says what do you want and i looked at kyle i was like man what do you want and he's like what can i get i said man get whatever you want and low-key i never understood like what a parent meant. And I'm not saying like a parent to any kid because I don't ever want to do that. But you know how parents would say that Christmas, how they like to see their kids face light up or whatever like that. I never really understood that until that day. When I told this little hungry, scrawny rat looking kid, you can get whatever you want. His face lit up and it was just like, whatever I want. It was almost like he had never been told that before anywhere. And he was so happy. And I was like, yeah, man, just tell him what you want and get it. And he was like, and I'm telling you, bro, this kid ordered like the biggest fucking, I can't remember what it was. It was like 11 or 12 or something like that. Large, super size, whatever. But, and I'm saying, this kid is too small. He's not going to put all this food away. So I just got some fries or whatever. But that's little y'all I had left. And um, I'm sitting here eating fries in the dining room. And this kid is fucking giant ass sandwich is almost as big as his head he is destroying this sandwich and i'm just like damn kyle um but yeah yeah man mm. i thought i could be able to finish this whole thing but i really cannot there's just too much food and i am out of this peach shit bro I wonder who else sells Peach Mountain Dew. I'm gonna try to finish it though. I had this friend, I had this friend in high school named Sean. And um, we would hang out a lot, me, him, and some of our other friends. But usually whenever like a WrestleMania event happened, 
like his parents ordered it for him. So he didn't invite us all over to watch. And his dad makes so much food. I'm talking about pork and beans, hot dogs, hamburgers. And there would only be like six of us. And I'm talking about this, this man made food for like 30 people had ass. Coleslaw salad, beans. And um, you know, I would get my plate or whatever, like two, like maybe two hot dogs, a hamburger or something like that. And I would be like done. And I would have like maybe a whole half a hamburger left because I couldn't eat that much back then. I still can't eat that much. And my friend Sean, who was literally a linebacker, like he was a big dude. He was like six foot eight head ass and he weighed like 290 pounds. Like he was a big fucking dude. And it was crazy because I was so tiny and me and him were like best friends. Like did everything together. Well, not everything, but I hung out with him more than I hung out with everybody else in the team. I mean, I don't know, I guess, I guess that kind of ruined some sort of you know, the politics of the friendship or whatever, I don't know. I, I just appeared on their scene and his best friend before that was his other kid, Chris, rest in peace, he overdosed. Um, sad story, man, I really like Chris, but he, um, him and Sean were like best friends. And then when I appeared in their, their circle or whatever, because I started going to their school, it was like, now I was, Sean's best friend and Chris kind of wasn't and he like drifted away towards his other kid Josh who was sort of in our circle he never came to like the Wrestlemania event stuff like that he was just there and he was like a really bad influence he smoked he did drugs and stuff like that um he was a real bad influence and I guess you know I don't ultimately that led Chris to his life of drugs I guess because he hung out started hanging out with Josh a lot more than he would hang out with Sean who Sean was on the street excuse me, on a straight and narrow because his parents were very strict, you know, and, you know, he played sports, he, you know, he was an athlete, he didn't do drugs, I mean, he smoked a little bit of marijuana every <laughs> Did he, though? I don't think I ever saw Sean do any drugs, no weed, until, like, we, 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 moved, I moved in with him at his apartment, him and this other, this older dude named Jason, they were living in an apartment, I moved in there with them. And I think that's the first time I ever saw Sean, like, smoke or anything. But anyways, um, but yeah, Sean, he would always tell me if I had something like this, he'd be like, come on, man, you, do it. Do it. Don't be a puss. Do it. Just eat it. Eat it. Eat it. And he would, like, I don't know, like, pressure me into eating. Like, it was, I don't know. I just imagine him here now. I don't talk with him anymore. He moved away, got a family head ass on his grown man shit. Aww. Okay. So this is almost over with. Well. Alright. So, not a bad sandwich. Not a bad sandwich at all. Um, the spicy chicken, like I said, spicy chicken was really good. However, I feel like it was just a little bit too spicy. I think maybe in the future, if I ever do decide to get a spicy chicken sandwich again, I come here, I can probably tell them something like the light sauce. Because they put maybe a squirt of the sauce on top of the patty, and then the bottom of the patty, Lil' Key probably has two squirts. I used to work at like fast food a lot, so I know they have these little things where it's like this, it's like this, you know, for the ketchup and mustard. So I feel like they put a squirt on top and a squirt on bottom. Lil' Key, they probably put it on the bun and then put it on the, the whatever, like a squirt on the bun and then, you know, patty and then, or the, the it's not even a patty, but the chicken, and then on the bottom, um, sauce, pickles, and then that. So I could probably tell them something like light sauce, or maybe no sauce on top, and just sauce on the bottom, and that would be good. Because ultimately, the sauce is just really, really freaking spicy. But other than that, on a scale of one to ten, what do I give the chicken sandwich? The regular chicken sandwich, I'm gonna give that an eight because it was very, very tasty and I could definitely eat the whole thing and it was it was just, it was flavorful. The pickles set it off, like I said. The spicy, 
I'm gonna give it a 7.5. And and not the spice was just too much. A little bit less spice, and it'd probably be better than the regular because it definitely is more flavorful. There's definitely more taste to it. Um, not saying that the regular one's bland, but there's definitely more taste to the to the spicy one. It's just it's too spicy, too spicy for me. But that's it. Um, if you did enjoy this mukbang, let me know down in the comments. Hit that thumbs up button and uh, definitely share your experiences with the. KFC chicken sandwich if you have any. I hope there's nothing on my mouth. And um, if you want to see more, definitely let me know. The likes will tell the tale. And also, don't forget to rate your experience with these. But no, no, that's not what it is. It's let me know where you want me to try the chicken sandwich at next. Is it going to be Burger King or is it going to be McDonald's? All right. All right, so you guys have a great rest of your day. Thanks for hanging out with me and eating with me. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out.